Did you know that some of the most powerful teachings of Jesus were hidden away for centuries? Imagine discovering ancient secrets that could change the way you see the world. What if there was knowledge that it could unlock the secret of life? Wouldn't you want to know more about it? In 1945, in the sands of Egypt, workers unearthed a treasure that would astonish the world. Thirteen leather-bound manuscripts revealing the lost teachings of the Gnostic Christians. These early followers of Jesus believed in salvation through mystical knowledge, but their secrets were buried by the Roman Orthodox Church, which sought to destroy their writings and their followers. Now, to truly understand these ancient secrets, we need to look at the work of Dolores Cannon, was a pioneering hypnotherapist and author who spent her life exploring the human consciousness. In her book, They Walked with Jesus, she explored more into these topics like past lives, the afterlife, and the hidden knowledge of ancient civilizations. Her work connects with the teachings we're about to show you now, providing a bridge between modern understanding and ancient wisdom. Let's get started. So, what did these ancient manuscripts reveal? Among the most intriguing finds was the Gospel of Thomas, a collection of 114 secret sayings of Jesus. Unlike the familiar stories from the Bible, these sayings are like a direct line to Jesus' teachings, offering insights into the power of thought, emotion, and the hidden language of the heart. In the Gospel of Thomas, Jesus said, When you make the two one, you will become the sons of man. And when you say, mountain, move away, it will move away. This saying hints at a profound truth, that within us lies the power to change our reality, to move mountains with our words and beliefs. The Gnostics were a unique group within early Christianity, offering insights that differed significantly from mainstream beliefs. However, their views were seen as a threat by the Roman Orthodox Church. In a ruthless campaign to establish religious uniformity, the Church sought to erase Gnostic teachings. Many Gnostic writings were destroyed and their followers faced persecution, often being burned at the stake. If you're fascinated by mysteries from the past and how they connect to our present, I invite you to be part of our community by subscribing to this channel. The year 325 AD marked a pivotal moment in this historical saga. Emperor Constantine, a powerful figure in the early Christian church, convened the First Council of Nicaea. One of the council's major outcomes was the consolidation of Christian doctrine and the formation of what we now recognize as the Bible. During this process, a staggering amount of information was either excluded or heavily edited. Scholars estimate that around 45 books were either removed entirely or altered significantly. This decision reshaped the Christian tradition, leaving out numerous teachings that might have offered a more diverse understanding of Jesus' messages. For centuries, these teachings remained hidden, hinting at a different kind of Jesus, one who taught about the interconnectedness of all things and the power of human emotion. For instance, in one of the sayings, Jesus states, Whoever finds the interpretations of these sayings will not experience death. This and other sayings suggest a deeper, mystical approach to spirituality, emphasizing personal enlightenment and inner peace. The discovery of the Nag Hammadi Library, which included the Gospel of Thomas, reignited interest in these forgotten teachings. Alongside other significant finds, like the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Coptic texts, these manuscripts provide evidence that much valuable information was lost over the centuries. The re-emergence of these texts has allowed scholars and spiritual seekers to piece together a more comprehensive understanding of early Christian thought. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Gospel is its emphasis on self-discovery and inner wisdom. The text starts with a powerful declaration. These are the secret sayings that the living Jesus spoke and Didymus Judas Thomas recorded. This introduction sets the tone for a series of teachings 
that challenge the reader to look within for answers. A central theme is the concept of enlightenment through personal understanding. For example, in verse 1, Jesus says, Whoever finds the meaning of these words will not taste death. This statement suggests that true knowledge and spiritual awakening can lead to eternal life. It encourages individuals to seek deeper truths and connect with their inner selves. Another key saying is found in verse 2. Jesus said, Let him who seeks continue seeking until he finds. When he finds, he will be troubled. When he becomes troubled, he will be astonished, and he will rule over all. This passage highlights the transformative journey of self-discovery. It acknowledges that seeking the truth can be a challenging and unsettling process, but ultimately, it leads to a profound realization and empowerment. It also explores the idea of unity and harmony within oneself. In verse 48, Jesus teaches, If two make peace with each other in this one house, they will say to the mountain, Move from here, and it will move. This saying underscores the power of inner peace and balance. When we reconcile conflicting parts of ourselves, we can achieve extraordinary things. Verse 106 expands on this idea, When you make the two one, you will become the sons of man. And when you say, Mountain move away, it will move away. Here, Jesus speaks about the unification of dualities within us. By merging our inner contradictions and achieving harmony, we tap into a profound source of power and potential. It often emphasizes the importance of understanding the interconnectedness of all things. In verse 77, Jesus says, I am the light that is above all things. I am all. From me all came forth, and to me all attained. Split a piece of wood, I am there. Lift up the stone, and you will find me there. This profound saying suggests that the Divine Presence is everywhere and in everything. It encourages us to see the sacred in the mundane and recognize our connection to the Divine. If you found this journey meaningful, please consider supporting our channel with a super thanks. Your support helps us continue to bring you more insights into ancient wisdom and spiritual mysteries. Moreover, challenges conventional religious practices and encourages direct, personal experience of the Divine. For instance, verse 113 states, His disciples said to him, When will the kingdom come? Jesus said it will not come by waiting for it. It will not be a matter of saying, here it is, or there it is. Rather, the kingdom of the Father is spread out upon the earth, and men do not see it. This teaching reveals that the divine realm is not a distant place to be awaited, but a present reality to be realized. By exploring these key concepts, we see that the Gospel of Thomas offers a unique and profound perspective on Jesus' teachings. It emphasizes personal enlightenment, inner peace, and the recognition of the divine within and around us. These teachings challenge us to embark on a journey of self-discovery, to seek deeper truths, and to find the divine presence in every aspect of our lives. One of the core philosophical messages is the power of thought and emotion in shaping our reality. This idea is reflected in the teachings that emphasize the importance of inner harmony and unified intention. For instance, when Jesus speaks about making the two one and moving mountains, he is highlighting the immense potential that lies in aligning our thoughts and feelings. This concept suggests that our inner world has a direct impact on the external world, a notion that resonates with many modern spiritual and psychological theories. Another significant insight is the emphasis on self-awareness and personal enlightenment. The sayings encourage us to seek within ourselves for truth and understanding. This introspective approach contrasts with the more external, ritualistic practices often associated with religion. By turning inward, 
and exploring our own consciousness, we can access a deeper connection with the divine. This idea is particularly evident in the saying, whoever finds the meaning of these words will not taste death, suggesting that true knowledge and spiritual awakening can transcend the limitations of our physical existence. It also challenges us to see the divine in all things. The saying, split a piece of wood, I am there, lift up the stone and you will find me there, urges us to recognize that the sacred is present in every aspect of the world around us. This perspective fosters a sense of reverence for life and encourages us to look beyond the surface to find deeper spiritual truths. It aligns with the philosophical notion that all of creation is interconnected and that by understanding this connection, we can experience a greater sense of unity and purpose. The philosophical insights also extend to the nature of prayer and intention. Traditional views of prayer often involve asking for things from an external deity. However, the teachings in this gospel suggest that effective prayer comes from aligning our thoughts and emotions with our desires, essentially creating a state where we feel as if our prayers have already been answered. This approach to prayer is about cultivating a mindset of gratitude and certainty, which can lead to a more profound and fulfilling spiritual practice. In exploring these philosophical teachings, we see that offers a rich and transformative understanding of spirituality. It challenges us to look within, recognize the divine in all things, and understand the power of our thoughts and emotions in shaping our reality. These insights not only deepen our spiritual awareness, but also provide practical guidance for living a more conscious and intentional life. One of the most compelling lessons from these teachings is the power of our inner world. By aligning our thoughts and emotions, we can influence our reality in ways we never thought possible. This understanding encourages us to take responsibility for our own spiritual journey, seeking enlightenment and inner peace through self-awareness and introspection. It reminds us that the spiritual journey is not about waiting for a distant promise, but about realizing the divine presence that surrounds us every day. So, what do we take away from this exploration? The message is clear. Our thoughts and emotions hold immense power. The divine is ever-present in our lives and the spiritual journey is one of personal discovery and inner harmony. These teachings encourage us to live more consciously, embracing the sacredness of each moment and the interconnectedness of all things. Let us carry these insights with us as we continue our own spiritual journeys. Let the wisdom inspire us to seek deeper understanding, to cultivate inner peace and to recognize the divine in all aspects of our lives. By doing so, we not only honor the teachings of Jesus, but also enrich our own spiritual experiences. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the hidden teachings of Jesus. I hope you found valuable insights and inspiration in our discussions. Be part of our community by subscribing to this channel. Until the next video.